Hey, my beautiful Capricorns, it's your girl Tasha, aka Mama Jim, aka Jim the Butterfly, and I am here with your mid December 2016 and January 2017 monthly general tarot scope. Um, I'm back, y'all. I had to take a little break. Girl was tired, honey. Let's get into it and see what we have. I'm just going to use the playing cards for the last two weeks of the month, and then we'll use the, the traditional uh, rider weight for our January 2017, okay? And this will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what's coming in. Let's see. Capricorn, I feel like, let me look at the next, let me, yeah, wait, 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 yes. Okay, so Capricorn, what I like for you for the, how you're ending out this 2016 you're in it and out on a positive note i feel like for some of you you're definitely thinking about some type of business plan maybe you're thinking about a new career path i feel like um some of you you're really looking at your current i feel like money and career is your main goal right now and you're you're trying to figure out how can you make your money grow so for some of you this could be along with going back to school some of you could be changing career paths some of you are um Really taking the time to look at your finances to see what you can change. How can you um, allow or what can you do to make your money grow? I feel like for some of you, you're. I feel like some of you, if you don't have a 401k or an IRA or whatever those things are, I feel like some of you are thinking about starting that up. You're thinking long term again. And I feel like for some of you, this has been on your mind for a while, but you haven't made the move yet. I feel like you're not, you're, you're planning to make your move for 2017. So for right now, you're in the preliminary stages of it. I feel like for some of you, you may be seeking counsel from, um, I feel like either, either, or, um, an air sign, um, could be a male, um, uh, male or female air sign, Gemini, Lib Libra or Aquarius. Um, this person, this person feels fatherish to me. It feels like someone that can give you very sound advice. Um, if it's not a person that this is just you really take it, being realistic about your goals at this present time or your goals coming into 2017. Um, I do feel like, uh, this week you will feel very excited about it. You, um, definitely writing down business plans. I feel like some of you, if you're not writing anything down, I feel like some of you, you are looking at, I feel, I see words. So you may be looking at, um, bank statements, retirement statements. You may be looking into, um, um, oh my goodness, schools, like different schools, what type of criteria you will have to meet. I feel like for some of you, um, I lost my train of thought, guys. <laughs> um, criteria for schools, jobs. You may be looking for another job as well. And you're feeling pretty excited about it too. So going on into next week, the the our ending week of 2016, I feel it. I feel like at the beginning of the week, you're going to be starting off trying to figure out how are you going to make this work? Because all before, this has just been something that's been in... Um, a, a thought for you. You're trying to make it real. You're trying to make it tangible. I feel like for some of you, you may be discussing this. It, it feels like to me, you have to come up with a plan first or devise a plan first before you decide to introduce the idea to family members or to your spouse or to your coworkers, whoever it is. You want to be able to have a full foolproof full plan before you present this idea because you don't... It, I feel like for some of you, you really don't want to be... T you don't want any any holes. You don't want to have any holes in your plan and you don't want to have any type of um, instances where someone could talk you out of what you're doing because you you feel very dead set on this. Okay. And I feel like you have figured out a way to get this done, but you're going to need to have to, you're going to have to elicit help from other people. Okay. So I feel like at the beginning of next week, you definitely are going to be, you know, like I said, proposing this idea to other people. And then during the week, I feel like the middle of the week, you may have to wait it out. Other people may have to think about it like, oh, I don't know. You know, um, I, I do feel like people are 
Um, I feel like your family will be on board. I feel like spouses or, or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever will be on board. I feel like jobs would work with you. So if you're going, for example, if you're thinking about going back to school, you may, um, may be discussing with your manager how you can, um, change your hours or for some of you out I, I actually think for some of you you may not even be trying to work for somebody else some of you are devising a plan to work for yourself whatever what have you by the end you're ending the year off on a very good uh note you're ending the year off with the ten of, ten of pentacles i feel like this is um a new a newfound stability within yourself and within your finances or how your finances will look by this time next year. So I feel like you're really feeling, you're, you're ending on a positive note, a very stable note. Um, your, your foundation is definitely building. Um, it feels like it's very, um, that's not the word, y'all. I keep wanting to say solid, but it's not the word. Sturdy. It feels sturdy and it, you feel self-assured also. So, um, I feel like by the end of, end of the week, everybody's going to be on board and you're going to have that plan that you need to move forward into 2017. All right, guys. Thank you. All right. Let's look at January. Turn some things around. All right. And let's get a... Can you guys see all of the cards? Wait a minute. There you go. Let's get a self-care card. Sorry, guys. All right, babies. Let's see what's coming in for January for you. King of Wands. Yes, as your general energy. Um, career. You have the Emperor. Finances. <clears throat> excuse me, you have the Three of Cups, Love, Page of Wands, and also the Chariot in Health. I feel like, you know what, this is, it feels very stereotypical at, um, energy at the, beginning, the, at the beginning of the year for Capricorns. I feel like with the general energy in January, you have the King of Wands. So I, I feel like for you, you are feeling very passionate regarding your goals. I feel like a lot of you definitely are, like I said, you're ending December off in a very business-minded state. You're continuing, you're going into January definitely with the King of Wands type of energy. He is a businessman to me. He knows how to make money. He has a little bit of hustler in him. So I feel like some of you are getting your hustle on and I feel like it's not just in your career. I feel like it's in your life. It's in your love. It's in, um, it, it, it's time to get excited about life. It's, it's time to get excited about you, which is good for you Capricorns because I feel like for some of you, you've been working so hard towards, you have been working towards yourself, but I feel like in a sense that you have neglected yourself, even though you've been working for yourself. I hope you guys get what I'm saying about that. Um, and so th this brings a level of excitement into your world, essentially. I feel like within career, again, you have the emperor here. I feel like for some of you, going back to the end of December, I told you you were going to be seeking counsel from someone. You may be seeking legal advice. So especially if you're thinking about starting your own business, I see this as the emperor, seek, um, someone who can give you sound legal advice. I feel like this person is a solid um he knows what he's talking about. It may not be a, a, a he, it could be a she. I feel like also this is representing you and your attitude towards your career. 
it's definitely time for you to get serious. You cannot continue, and you're realizing that you cannot continue to go down the middle of the road. You're going to have to make a decision. It's going to be this or it's going to be that. I feel like when it comes into... And let me go back to this. Whatever's going on, whatever decision that you make, I feel like you realize the importance of it and you realize that you you cannot be easily swayed with it. So whatever you're whatever decision that you're making in January, I feel very strongly that you're gonna follow you're gonna follow this through all the way not just towards the end of the year, but for years to come. And I feel like you are very silent on that. Look at his feet. His feet are like ironclad. You know, they he is on his square. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like some of you are getting on your square when it comes to career. When it comes to finances, you have the three of cups. I feel like for some of you, money will be pretty good. Again, you're at the end of the year, you're ending with the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you may have a little bit of money, which is, you know, which is good after the holidays, especially in the U.S. Everybody tends to go a little damn crazy when it comes to Christmas time and holidays. You spend all this money and then you go into the new year. You don't have any money. But I feel like you have enough to share and I feel like you will be celebrating with the money that you have. I feel like for some of you, you're celebrating because you're starting off the, the beginning of the year in a very positive note as opposed to being um, a little bit in the negative um, or near the negative. I feel like for some of you, you may even have enough to share for people. Share to, you know, to, I feel like you're in a very giving mood, a very celebratory mood with your money as well. I feel like for some of you, you could be using this money maybe for you and some of your friends may decide to get together and bank and put your money together for a business venture okay I feel like January is all about money and and business for a uh, career of uh, career for Capricorn when it gets to when you're coming to your love section right here you have the page of wands I feel like for some of you you could be dealing with um this I feel like this for my Capricorns that have children, especially fire sign children, or a child that just has a very lively um, personality, very bubbly, very curious. I feel like you're having to learn how to, another way to discipline your child, another way to love your child. You're, you're I feel like for some of you, you're really... You're studying. I feel like you're studying your child as a specimen because you're looking at this baby like, who are you? But in a good way, not in a negative way. I think this child is just very precocious and very curious, like I said before, and um, really brings out the childlike energy in you. Now, alternatively, I feel like for some of the Capricorns, you may be meeting someone like this that brings that energy out on you that, you know, because you've been so serious all during the, the year of 2016, you need somebody to come along and lighten you up. This person may be a, um, a younger person than you um, in spirit. I feel like they could be your age, but they could have a younger spirit towards you. I feel like for some of you also, when it comes to love, that you're looking, you're waiting. Let me get one more card. Yes, look at that. You have the six of cups. So I feel like for some of you, you're waiting to hear from someone that you miss. Um, this is a person that maybe you've known since childhood. You may be hearing from this person again, and I feel like they're going to give you a very good message. I feel like you're waiting on a message from them. What message are you waiting to hear? Oh, okay. We have the strength card. I don't know if you can see that. We have a strength card in reverse. So I feel like for some of you, um, I feel strongly that for some of you, maybe this is a person from the from your your past or from your childhood that you've been waiting to hear from. And they you have a little soft spot for this person, Capricorn. So it would be a nice uh gesture to hear from them. Or maybe some of you are thinking about reaching out to them. All right. Going into your um, health section again, the chariot. I feel like some of you are going to be every time I see this card. Every time I see this card, I feel like, especially in the health, I feel like somebody's running <laughs> because the, the chariot has such a fast energy. He's very driven. So I feel like um, some of you, again, this is at the beginning of the year, maybe starting a gym membership, maybe thinking about running. Some of you may be doing um, a cycling class. I feel like for some of you, you're just getting very, you're getting serious and more determined about your health, improving your health. Um, going back to this love real quick. I just heard that you've been waiting on this person to come around so you can see it. You've been waiting to, to for this person to come around so you can reveal how you've been feeling. I feel like you've been holding something in. 
What you been holding in, Capricorn? You, you in love, baby. Because I feel like somebody, you, you're you ready. Like, all you need to do is the go ahead so you can tell them how you feel. Okay? But anyway, going back to health. Um, I do feel like some of you may be traveling for your health. So that could be... Um, if you have to travel out of town to see to seek medical care, I feel like some of you may be traveling out of town for relaxation so you can, you know, re for renewed or restored health. I feel like um, some of you may be um, I keep feeling like a, a personal trainer of taking some type of self-defense class as well. You're thinking about doing that as well. So um, with your self-care card for the month, you have truth. It says, tell the truth. Integrity is the key to living an authentic life. And I feel like that's where you are right now, Capricorn. You're being, t you're telling the truth to yourself. Okay. Um, you're getting real with yourself about what you truly want and how you envision your life to be and your place in life. Um, again, you have this, this, um, uh, this butterfly that's on the back of this little lady. I don't know if you guys can see it's on the, uh, on her back. Um, there's a little blue butterfly. And to me, that's about communication. That's self-communication on her. Um, you, you're, you're allowing yourself to feel. And again, going back to this love thing again, I feel like when this person comes along, it, it feels like to me, you're, you've been, you've been waiting for them to come in order for you to speak your truth. Okay. So if you, and this could go into any arena of your life, if this is about you with your your, 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 um, <laughs> your friends, um, and this joint business venture, be truthful about what you want. Be truthful about your boundaries. Be truthful about the goals that you want this, um, venture to reach. Okay. Be truthful about the people who you're dealing with. Okay. Because sometimes, you know, you want to bring your people on, but there, you got to know what type of people you have. You know, everybody has, um, Everybody knows who they can bring on is when it comes with money. Sometimes friendships and money's don't and money don't mix. And this is um speaking the truth and under and and, and honoring that truth that you feel when it comes to money and friends. All right. So I just want to give you guys that little tidbit. I love you guys and I will see you in February. Bye. Love you.